In this section, we're going to further the topic of logic and actually start using connectives. So we call these conditional statements. So we'll talk about a compound statement first, which combines two uh, statements that are either true or false into one statement with by a connective and then a conditional statement which says gives you a condition in order for the result to be true. So a statement is either true or false and um, a compound statement is the statement that is true or false connected by and or or. A conditional statement is of the form if p then q. So if I am a cat then I eat birds, <laughs> right? So, but if I'm anything else, I don't eat birds, right? So the condition is I have to be a cat to eat the birds, <laughs> okay? So if, in, in the most simple example we can think of is always like spreadsheet logic. Spreadsheet logic is like our Excel, like Microsoft Excel and uh, Google Sheets. And we can actually put logic in there. We say like if, the cell A1 is greater than 12, then multiply that by 10. And if it's not, then multiply it by 7. So find the A1 result if, um, sorry, find the result if A, the cell A1 is 6 and 13. So here with um, logic here with spreadsheets, what it's giving you is if and then what we do is we give you the statement, okay, and then what we do if it's true and what we do if it's false, okay? And so what we're saying here, if I read this correctly, I have to say, well, if the number given is greater than 12, then multiply it multiply the number by 10, okay? If, if the number um, is less than or equal to 12, right, that would be not greater than 12, then multiply it by 7. So essentially what you're doing is you're going to look at the cell um, here's A1, so here's like the cells, and they have numbers in here. And somewhere in the midst of the numbers um, are the numbers 6 and 13, and then more numbers. And so what this column's going to do, this next column, we'll call it B, right? And um, and what these give is the result. It reads the column A first, then applies the formula. So what's going on here is um, in column A, let's just say um, here's a um, column A, row 1, column A, row 2, column A, row 3. So if it reads that it's the A, the cell is 6, right, the number in that little box is 6, in here is this formula and it says, do, 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 oh, this is 6, 6 is not greater than 12, right, then I must multiply by 7, right, and so it goes, do, 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 oh, 13, and it and analyzes the number 13, and 13 is greater than 12, so multiply by 10. So essentially, this is going to be um, the condition, right? And then this is going to be where the condition is true, and then when the condition is false. So if we read spreadsheet uh, logic, let's go ahead now and um, solve the problem, we have two. So the first one would be the fact that A1 is equal to 6, right? But 6 is uh, less than or equal to 12. So A1 is going to be multiplied by 7. 
All right, and so this means that we'll have 6 times 7, which is 42. So that's the first one. And essentially what I'm doing here now is putting 42 in this box. This box spits out 42. Okay, so the next one, let's do when a1 equals 13, the next one. But 13 is greater than 12, so we'll multiply this by 10. And that means we'll have um, 10 times 13, which is 130. So here, um, if a1 is 13, then that column B will have um, 130, spit out 130 in it. So if you just wrote in column B this formula and then it analyzes that cell next to it and it takes this number 6, knows that it's this is not true, right, it's false, so I'm going to multiply 6 by 7 to get 42. This is where it spits the answer and this is where this uh, the formula takes the number for each of those cells to analyze them and apply the formula. So uh, now let's review it in part of logic. So it takes 6 right here and it like 6 greater than 12, false. If it's false, it multiplies by 7. It takes 13. It says 13, true, it is greater than 12. True, multiply by 10, it spits out 130. So it's very black and uh, it's it's very um you know two sided a coin right it's true or false that's it so those are the outcomes so it's just going running through and analyzing now it, let's just say I had, was a you know an accountant and I use the spreadsheet and all uh, logic a lot let's just take an example where we would construct our own so if an accountant needs to withhold twenty one percent of income taxes for income below forty percent forty thousand and twenty six of percent of the income for 40,000 or more, the income is in the spreadsheet cell A1. So write a spreadsheet expression that would calculate the amount to withhold. So spreadsheet um, expressions, again, right, it goes if, right, and you have to put the condition or the statement, and then what happens if the condition is true or when the condition is false. So that's what we have to decide. So the main condition here is the income, right? Like if the income it is below 40,000, it pays a certain percentage and if it's above 40,000. So it looks like the income and that barrier number is 40,000, right? If it's going to be more, it's going to withhold um, a more a larger percentage. So the condition is um, if it's below 40,000, right? So if it's strictly below 40,000, does that include 40,000? Right? Well, no, because it has to be below. Is 40,000 below 40,000? No. But is 40,000 included in 40,000 or more? Right, so we really have to understand the language, right? Written expression, and it is forty thousand or more does include the forty thousand. So below forty thousand is a very strict inequality, right? And so this translates to strictly less than forty thousand. Okay, the next part is we have to see what happens if it's true. So if your income is below forty thousand, what is the percentage of taxes do they take? Well, they take 21% of the income. And if it's false, let's say you uh, the person makes more than 40000 they take 26% of the income. So the income is going to vary. That's the, that's the variation. And the barrier income is the 40000 So it will it'll look at the income and then determine whether it's larger or less than uh, 40,000 and then multiply by the percentage. So I think we have all the things ready that we need. Okay, so we would say if, 
right, <laughs> parenthesis, the condition is if the cell A1 is the income, then we say A1 is less than the 40,000, right? That was the condition. Um, in the spreadsheet, we do not use commas because the commas are already taken to separate the true and false uh, condition statements. So we just put 40,000. Exactly how I'm writing it is exactly how you would enter your answer or write out your answer um, in the spreadsheet. So the condition where it's true is 21% of the income. So that would be 0.21 times whatever A1 is, right? Because that would be true, right? If it, the income is less than, then we multiply by 21%. Um, if it's false, meaning that your income is greater than $40,000, $40, then we would multiply by 26%. And then that's it. But you can see that we need some sort of like, uh, you know, appendix, right? Like a list of like our logic. We want to put all the pieces together when we get over here for this for the logical um, formula. So here, notice that this is the condition. This is when the condition is true, and this is when the condition is false. So we're really trying to get into that mind frame of true false. And even though you're like, God, I don't like that. I feel like there's like so many things in between. And I would say, absolutely, you're absolutely correct. But remember that this chapter of logic is not for that. This, this chapter of logic is for you to have validity and reasoning. And so when you make decisions throughout your life, you can weigh in the emotional part but also have logic embedded there and internalized so you make those like more logical decisions even if it's an emotional decision so um so at least we get our feet wet in in this section